What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video from Mr. Sen. No relation to Mr. Medicare. And first off, I want to say thanks for liking the video on the last upload. It really did help out. And so I would ask you once again to defy the powers that may at YouTube and Susan Wabajak, please hit the like on this video and share it with as many people as possible. We must not be suppressed, ladies and gents, but Anyway, on to the video, and this video might not make me any friends, I've realized that. But it's something that I felt like I should bring to your attention, guys, because it's fun. And we need a little more fun in the world, right? We need a little less grim and darkness, and we need more fun! And, and you know, fun speculation. And so this is some fun speculation that I don't think is going to affect anyone primarily in a negative way, so to speak. Although, to be fair, it might, um maybe hurt some people's feelings but like you know those people are dumb because you shouldn't get your feelings hurt over something so trivial and so what is the trivial question you might ask that i want to propose to you ladies and gentlemen watching this video and to the people that are going to dislike this well the question i propose to you uh sir or madam is liz Katz a gold digger now Look, here's the thing, Liz Cat. Why is she even in the news? Well, Liz Cat is in the news because she's going to come out with a an explanation for why her hubby H2O Delirious, well, not even husband. This is why we're making this video. Why her dad, baby daddy? Yes, baby daddy. That's the term we're going with. That's the term we call it. The baby daddy H2O Delirious, and um, and, and she's gonna come out with the grand sub explanations. As to why, you know, he's, you know, got his Twitter deactivated. I think that's what everybody wants to know, primarily. And and to be honest, guys, look, I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to be very, very, very blunt. And this is going to hurt people's feelings. And it's going to affect them in a in a way to which I, I need to say I'm, I apologize ahead of time. But personally, I think that Ed Liz is a gold digger of sorts, uh, in my opinion, right? Um, you know, let me play some clips. Clips, you know that that would uh, justify my belief. <laughs> God, I'm so dumb. So as you can see, you know, I, I just I can't help but get them gold digger vibes. You know, I can't help but after watching a Liz Cat video and giving her some watch time because I do that, I'm a good person. Uh, I can't help but put on that Kanye West jam, you know, and and just listen to it and then think of Liz. Um, I, I just, I can't, man. I, I, I just can't. It, it's an impossible for me not to do that after watching a Liz Cat's video. So, you know, when Liz Cat goes ahead and she tells people why, quote unquote, Delirious actually got suspended, you know, I, I can't help but put that jam and I'll probably put that jam on uh, and I'll listen to it. Uh, or maybe I'll listen to it during her talking periods, right? You know, a lot of people wanted to go ahead and, and go with Malika plays, and I did too, you know, and, and that's fair because, you know, Malika is a thoughty as well, right? But when we look at the situation and the situation that's presented to us and we see it for what it is, and that's that Liz Cat, to be honest, guys, is not much better. Uh, in a sense, you know, she she she's better in the sense where I, to my knowledge, she has not tried to break up a a family. She has not tried to break up a um, you know, a, a like a relationship of sorts. To my knowledge, you know, in the past, I know she was a a porn star of sorts. I know she that uh, you know, going back to the tweets, you know, going back to the tweets ahead of time, like in the back, 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 using my magical powers, right? Uh, not really. It's just basic shit if you know what you're doing. Uh, but so going back in the past, I see her flirting with Louis, uh, Louis Calibre or Louis Caliber, as I like to call him, uh, or Louise, as I also like to call him, uh, you know, Louise, you know, Lois, whatever there. So I see her flirting with Louise Calibre there, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting dynamic we have here. It kind of makes me wonder. Uh, yesterday I said that Delirious was a cuckold. You know, they're like, I, I, it makes me wonder who, who, you know, because, because I see, I see uh, Liz Cat in the past thirsting for Louise Calibre, right? And, and I'm just like, what, what, what is happening? What, what was happening? You know, what was this interaction? It was, it was so strange to me. You know, it was weird. It's not something like Wifey of the Year would do, so to speak. And that makes sense because, you know. Quite frankly, I don't think Liz Cat, Liz Cat is his wife of the year material, and that's probably why Delirious hasn't married her or put a ring on it, despite having been with her for like 
God knows how long. And this even goes into like deeper hell holes of territory. If you just take in mind what Delirious' mindset might be, you know, I wouldn't blame him. Like at this point, he's already like gotten uh, Liz pregnant uh, twice or whatever there. You know, if, if he dips, you know, he's gonna have to pay a lot of child support there. He's already done. You know, Delirious, you know, if you didn't choose right, you know, you, you, it's, it's over, buddy. You know, I mean, I know you have your issue. You, you, got, you have these problems right now, and I feel for you, brother. I do. But you're gonna have more problems uh, if you decide to break up with Liz. <laughs> So, in all honesty, throughout this whole situation, the person you need to feel the worst for, in a sense, is Delirious for multiple fucking reasons. You know, he has all these allegations against him, right? He's probably realizing that he, like, married a gold digger, you know. And just to point out the irony for, you know, to be fair, you know, to both parties, you know, we shat on Ohm, we shat on Malika, and, and Mr. Sen over here likes to be fair to all parties because that's what I do. Uh, once again, no, no relation to Mr. Medicare at all. But I, I, gotta, I gotta call it how it is, you know, Liz Cat talks about all this clout chasing and all these uh, clout chasing uh, thotties over here. When she's kind of the same herself and was kind of the same considering, you know, when not anybody knew about her, she was, you know, again, once again, trying to flirt with Louis Caliber and then she flirted with, uh, with Delirious, I guess, and then she got with Delirious and then she put it on her YouTube channel and made it very known, oh, I'm flirting with H2L Delirious, tee hee hee, right? So it's, it's one of those things things where it's like ironic you know you're calling all these thotties right that your husband approved them by the way uh, i just want i just want you to know that your husband was thirsting for them delirious was thirsting for these average basic bitches let that sit in right probably because he realized that this is like an idubs situation like an idubs relationship maybe even worse because to my knowledge idubs girlfriend was never a porn star like you liz cat so you know that's something to take into account um, Idubs' girlfriend is, is also not as, uh, as shameful as you, as you're posting photos of yourself half-naked while you're pregnant, which is quite disgusting, to be honest. I know I've had nothing but nice things to say about you up until late, but being aware of these circumstances now and just taking all of it into consideration for the fucking sake of being fair, goddammit, and being off the top of the dome... <sighs> And being Mr. Sun, no relation to Mr. Medicare, I, I can't help but call it how it is, hon. And, uh, and he, you're kind of a thoughty, you're kind of shameful. Um, I know it's going to hurt people's feelings, and I, I, again, once again, apologize ahead of time if this does hurt your feelings or make, uh, you know, makes you mad. I'd, I'd like to hear why it makes you mad. Uh, considering, at the very least, the last two minutes of this video were factual. Uh, you know, Liz was bragging about being with Delirious, which would imply, you know, people are, you know, she is a clout chaser in her, own, in her own right. Delirious, you know, from my knowledge, right, from what we've seen, was thirsting after these girls as well, right? It wasn't just, you know, the girl's dress thirsting for him, right? Um, that's true. That can be backed up by fact as well. Right, um, Liz Cat has an OnlyFans, right? It's, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think much of you as a woman, you know, if you have an OnlyFans, that's just my takeaway from it. You know, I, I'm not afraid to say these things. Yes, you, you, I don't think much of you if you have an OnlyFans, I'm sorry. Uh, and, uh, what else? Like, she's shamefully putting, and, and I know people want to frame it as empowerment to women of, her taking like half nude photos of her as a you know pregnant that's disgusting <laughs> you know it's just, let's call it let's call a spade a spade that's fucking disgusting i don't know why she's doing it i don't know you know why she I, scratch it i don't know why she's doing it because she wants to stay in business but i don't know what person with decency would do it but given how liz is a was a porn star rather i wouldn't put it past her uh, you know, I, I, I'm kind of not surprised, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, and, and let's be honest, if we're doing more detective work and, and we're going undercover into the deep-rooted minds of Delirious, we can see that Delirious is probably depressed inside and out. You know, he's probably realizing that this, this is not what he signed up for, and now he's royally fucked, even though he hasn't put a ring on. <laughs> on Liz. Anything that happens from now on if he decides to depart is only going to go bad for him. So, what have we learned today? We've learned that Mr. Sen, no relation to Mr. Medicare, um, can tell interesting stories. Inter interesting theories. 
fun theories. Fun, 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 that's what we do here. We're having fun, guys. But uh, once again, I I'd like to hear from your thoughts. Let me know if you're, you know, if anything that I said, you know, does not resonate with you, that you have a conflict with anything I said. Um, if it makes you mad, if, if it doesn't, I'm not sure. I'd like to hear uh, what you think, you know. We can have an educated discussion, uh, or we can have a monkey uh, flinging contest. We can do that as well. <laughs> In any case, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you watch it to the end, you're a pog champ. If you like this video, you're a double pog champ. And if you're sharing this motherfucker, well, I just don't know what other compliment to give you at this point. But uh, I love y'all. Notice y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Peace out. Goodbye. Remember, no relation to Medicare.